Okay, folks, Alex Jones here coming to you live from Southern California. We're here working on a whole bunch of different stories, including some Bohemian Grove uh, information, but that'll come up in the days to come. Just continue to watch this channel for the latest information. I've got a spectrum of issues I want to cover right now. First off, last night and this morning I've been watching uh, quite a bit of NHK, Japanese World Service uh, English television, and they're reporting what our own research has shown now for, what, four months with the Fukushima ongoing disaster. And uh, the one issue uh, that I wasn't aware of was the fact that they only give people government assistance who've been destroyed by the um, tsunami, by the earthquake, and by the ongoing radiation if they live within 20 miles uh, of Fukushima, or excuse me, 20 kilometers, even less. And it showed on national news, and I guess international news, all these doctors and uh, all of these radiologists and people saying, look, this is 15, 20, 30 times with, with Geiger counters, safe level sieverts at my home. This will give my children cancer in the next few years. I've got to move out of here. And so they're leaving their nice middle class uh, areas and having to move into Tokyo uh, and uh, in uh, you know, the very poor parts of town and they showed on the news that the government will not help them in any way. So uh, that's just an example of how corrupt governments are. Is they're saying, hey, stay where you are, don't move out of these areas, uh, and they're allowing folks to continue fishing right out of the water, right off Japan, they're shipping that stuff in here. And we know that within seven days of Fukushima uh, and the multiple meltdowns in the reactors that, have, that are still ongoing, at least three totally melted down, that radiation is coming continually through the jet stream and the trade winds from Japan across the Pacific and slamming into Southern California right up uh, the uh, northwest into Canada. And two months ago, they had San Francisco University's uh, state uh, facilities at universities, it was actually in Berkeley in one case, picking up hundreds and hundreds of times safe levels uh, of things like radioactive iodine. And in Europe with Chernobyl, they were worried about that. And they didn't let people drink the milk for six months. They didn't let people eat vegetables for at least six months from the region that had to be shipped in. Here in the United States, there's no discussion of it. The EPA's just raised the levels of what they say is safe uh, from 100 times, 1,000 times, 25,000 times, some isotopes, 100,000 times above what the government said safe levels were previously. So our government's answer to all of this is just tell you everything's uh, fine. Uh, continuing here with uh, other news, as I sit here in the radiation uh, sprinkled Southern California, it's just the propaganda of the free uh, newspaper. they got to give these things away now. Uh, USA Today that, uh, that the hotel provided, it says, on U.S. side, cities are havens for drug wars. And then they go on and basically say, oh, but we've got some statistics that there's basically hardly any crime and everything's wonderful on the Texas, California, New Mexico, Arizona border. Uh, and we need to continue to keep the border basically wide open. Ladies and gentlemen, the last three years, there have been 30,000 deaths in northern Mexico and along the U.S. border. 30,000, that's more, that's the government's own numbers, State Department, that's more deaths than happen per year um, in Vietnam. I mean, in, in a decade of Vietnam, it was 58,000 Americans. Uh, I mean, this, this is a scourge, and you've got the Justice Department shipping guns into Mexico to destabilize Mexico, and then blaming on the Second Amendment, perjuring themselves to Congress, and then they've got big articles where it just goes on to say, oh, Congressman Lamar Smith and others, they're lying. There's not a war going on. It, there's not crime, really. Arizona's now the capital of kidnapping in the United States because the, the, the criminal culture of Mexico is coming up here now. Uh, the, uh, the scourge of the drug war is, and the system knows that. They know they decriminalize drugs. All of this would stop uh, overnight. Uh, and it's just incredible to see the whitewashing. Then they have another one here. It says... Um, UN assails the Taliban over deaths of civilians. And it talks about how terrible it is that a few civilians have been killed in fighting in Afghanistan and, and how this is just so outrageous. And it is outrageous. Killing civilians is wrong. But then when NATO is on record killing hundreds and hundreds of civilians and saying it's fine, it's collateral damage, or the drone attacks killing thousands 
They say, hey, if we kill 100 innocent people to get one bad guy, it's worth it. So it's called collateral damage when they do it. But if the Taliban kills some civilians, oh, my God, it's the end of the world. This is the ongoing hypocrisy. Uh, oh, lastly, how long do I have? How long have we been going here? Okay, lastly, uh, you know about the case up in Michigan uh, with the lady uh, who got, uh, well, she got threatened with 90 days in uh, jail and Rob just reminded me of her name, it's a Julie Bass. Um, and now what's developed is that because of international outcry, they dropped the charges against her for having the guard in her front yard and have gone back when they were harassing her a few months ago when she was first standing up for herself for not having a dog license. And she'd gone and gotten all the fees and fines and gotten the dog license months ago. Now they've retroactively, the same judge that just dropped the garden uh, situation, They've dropped that, uh, and they've brought back the dog uh, license and threatened to throw her in jail for that. And in case you didn't know, once we got threatened when I was a child in Dallas, my dad did with arrest, if he didn't get a license for a cat we had uh, because a neighbor saw it and said it didn't have a license. You're supposed to have a license in Austin uh, for dogs. I have a chihuahua and a French bulldog. I don't have a license. I'm not getting one. Licensing is authorization to do something that would be illegal. You have to get licenses in communist China to have a dog. Uh, I guess because party officials see it as a food and not a pet, but the Chinese are rebelling. So it's just incredible. So they're now harassing her up in Michigan still. This is out of control, and it shows how they want to dominate people and train Julie Bass and the rest of the country that you will submit to them while all this serious crime's going on. And USA Today is telling us, hey, there's no problem on the southwestern border, even though I live here in Texas. And you go down to formerly beautiful border towns, they're boarded up and shut down. It's total bedlam. You try to jet ski on a lake down there, they'll come over and kill you. It's, 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 it's World War III. The State Department says is the most dangerous country in the world for Americans to visit after Afghanistan or North Korea. But 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 uh, the media is telling you it's great. All right, that's our report. I'm going over to RT Studios to do a live report on Bohemian Grove. We'll have more for you throughout the day. Follow InfoWars.com and The Real Alex Jones at Twitter. Thank you.